Hi, I'm Gigi, and I'm here to show you guys our line of paints from Art Alternatives and our wood panels that are made of birch. So here we are. So this is the 24 set of our classic acrylic paint, and I'm here to show you guys how to paint on our birch panels, which I prepped with some gesso. So it is best to prep panels with gesso, but you can also draw on them either way. But here, we are going to be painting. I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint this little bird. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to paint with acrylic. So we're generally just going to be using water as the medium. But generally, you could use some different kind of mediums. But for this, we're just going to use water. So the thing about acrylic paint is you would generally work from light to dark. So from here, let's paint the background. So we're going to paint, start off with the brown, and smoothly put it on. So it's best when you start painting to just block it in. Don't worry about what it looks like. So I love having a nice, loose background. So while that's going, I'm going to take one of my brushes, which is already dirty, sorry, and we are going to go right into the paints gray. So as I said before, it's best to work from dark to light. So we're going to block it in. And when you begin painting, they look kind of ugly, but you have to trust yourself that it's going to be pretty okay at the end. So go right into the paints gray and painting the crest of the bird. Not too bad. I kind of like to work because uh, the bird head is curved. I kind of like to work in a curved, curved brush stroke. And then I block in the little mask because maybe he's kind of sneaky. Don't know. And then we're gonna paint the mask of the bird, the white of the bird on the face, the tops. So we could do that with. I like to do a little base coat, so I use some brown, I use some white, and I put a little base for his face. What I love about acrylic paint is that it dries quickly, so you can paint as quickly as you can think. So here we go, like little steps, little steps. And do not worry about painting details yet. Because if you start painting details now, you'll, never, you'll slow everything down and you'll never finish. You kind of have to go through the story and live it out and really feel every line before you can get to the end part. So also, remember the bird is curved. So we have to paint to the curve of the bird. Because if you go like this, it kind of disrupts it, right? It disrupts the shape of the bird. And then we're going to mix some paints gray with some white. And we're going to start adding dimension to the bird. So the beauty of this is always going from dark to light. So you're going to build everything up one shade at a time. It's really important that the feathers are kind of going in different directions. So this feather is going this way. And also, you know, birds kind of get ruffled. They're not perfect. Sometimes they go this way, sometimes they go that way. But it's still important to kind of create dimension. Like always, every stroke should have a purpose. So the next phase, always, is getting towards the details, right? So we kind of paint in the eye with a little curve. And we continue to add little brush strokes to create the feathers and the highlights, which are the beautiful part. So it's always about building up. 
It's always about patience. And what's beautiful about acrylic is that if you don't like what you did, you could always do it again later and fix it. Classic acrylic paints, very smooth, and they generally come in sets of 24, 24 different colors. And so it's like a wide range that you can use it with because of all the colors. And the texture is very incredibly consistent. And you can water it down, use mediums with it. Or I mean, just with water, it's really great. Actually, because it's, it's a little bit more, it's not super thick, it's not super heavy. So you don't need to put that much medium through it anyway. And that's what's kind of really lovely about it. Because it's a little more, in terms of that, because of that quality, the smooth quality, it's a little bit more economical in terms of not having to worry about all that other stuff like mediums. So you can create the translucency with just the water and it blends really well so you don't need extra things to kind of push it around. So Art Atonium is this really great products for in terms of economy because our products are really lovely and sturdy because these panels are super sturdy and so are our easels and the paint is like really lovely super consistent beautiful colors super wide range and it's really it comes in 24 you can do anything with 24 paints